All right, next I'm going to use the environment option, which can be found in the rendering pull-down menu. And what I want to do here is add what we call a volume light. So you may have to scroll down. My dialog box is kind of big. I don't know if by default it's that big. So let's scroll down till you see under atmosphere. If you need to roll that out, do that at this time. And you want to add a volume light. So we'll just click and add the volume light. Now we need to attach this volume light variable to our directional light that we're using as our laser beam. And again, you may have to scroll down or actually expand your dialog box for the environment and effects options. So you can find the volume light parameter that allows you to pick a light. And we're going to click on the pick light and then choose our directional light. And now you should see that the direction light name, in this case direction 001, is the light that was picked for our volume light. And now let's render this and see how this looks. All right, now we've got a nice little laser beam effect going on, don't we? Now let's tweak the volume light parameters a little bit more. Let's choose the fog color and again make it a nice red. And let's play with the density option. I'm going to change the density to maybe about 15. Now let's render this thing again to see what kind of effect we got. A little bit brighter, a more solid looking laser beam now. Okay, one more thing we need to do is to turn on the noise. Again, you may have to scroll down a little bit to find the noise option. So let's turn the noise on. And let's start out by using a noise amount of 0.5 and a size of maybe 10. Okay, again, these are variables you can play around with until you get your desired effect. So let's render this again. And can you see now how the, the beam actually has some like little particles? Because if you, sh if you shot a laser beam through the air, there would be some dust particles that would be picked up and reflected by the laser beam. So I think this is looking pretty good. All right, another thing you could do to enhance this scene is maybe make a material for the sphere. So let's click on the material editor and I want to click on the ambient option and maybe choose a blue that will kind of match the color I already have in the scene. Maybe adjust its specular level. I'll crank that up a little bit so it has a little bit of a shine to it. Maybe even increase its glossiness some. All right, and then click and apply that to our sphere. And let's re-render this one more time to see if that gave us a little bit better effect there. I think that that looks pretty cool. You could also apply a material to the platform, but uh, I think if you're a scene looks like this, you've been successful in creating a laser beam.